Hey guys, Rex here. So Kamala Harris and Biden are going to get with the ATF and save us from the ghost guns. They're going to save the world from ghost guns, guys. You know, the United States by far is the world's largest dealer of arms. Most of them falling into the wrong hands. You know, like they're, they're worried about ghost guns because like, oh, someone might buy one of these rifles without filling out a 4473 because then we can trace it and know that they're a good guy or a bad guy. 4473, huh? How many 4473s did they fill out when he gave ISIS all those main battle tanks? Like M1 Abrams, do you have to fill out a 4473? There's a 120 millimeter smoothbore cannon on those. You got coaxial machine guns, 50 caliber mounted on top, night vision, all the whole, the whole nine yards. Did you fill out a 4473 for that one? Oh, like uh, how about all the other stuff, all the, the armored Humvees? You know, they drop off giant crates with parachutes on them across the face of the earth since I was born with American-made Colt rifles with the latest, greatest night vision. How much stuff did they hand over to the Taliban when we left? I thought the Taliban were the bad guys. I thought they were so dangerous and so bad. We had to spend 20 years of treasure and blood to save us from the Taliban. Now you're leaving them stuff that you're not even letting us have? Like belt-fed machine guns? Do you have to fill out a 4473 for a crate full of belt-fed machine guns? How come these same people that want to save us from the ghost guns? Because guns that are just, you know, they're, they're not accounted for properly with the 4473 form, that's dangerous. It's, and, and, you know, you can't hunt deer with that. So it's about hunting deer. How come in America, it's all about hunting deer, but then when you go to Europe, it's all about freedom so that the people can fight against communist invaders? How come it's different there than it is here? How come these same people, <laughs> how come these same exact clowns are all excited and wagging their tail to give fighter jets and helicopters and tow missiles to a bunch of people over there that they did they, they fill out a 4473 for that? Are they vetting each guy when they pass it off, when they change custody? Here you go, Azov guy. Just kill some tanks. Probably will use it. How about an FIM-92 Stinger missile? You know, those are a little, little dangerous if they go into the wrong hands, right? Like a Stinger missile? A little bit dangerous. You can only shoot down, like, aircraft with them, you know. I'm sure they filled out a 4473 for all those, right, guys? Let me read you something. Dig this. I did this in a recent post. Research by the SIPRI shows that exports by the U.S. accounted for 34% of the major arms export during the Obama-Biden regime. Russia was second at 22%. So we way outclass Russia in terms of distributing Deadly weapons across the face of the earth. 34% of all of them in the world, all arms exports in the world. Russia is like way behind us. So like if arms are so bad for people to have, because a lot of these go to just regular people, so they can fight off usually governments. Our government sanctions that so that people, regular people in other countries can fight off their government. What's up with that? Are we admitting the actual true purpose of why weapons were invented? <sighs> Recently in Afghanistan, Joe Biden left huge stockpiles of U.S.-made weapons to the Taliban. According to a Department of Defense audit, bad rep record keeping and regulations were responsible for letting up to half, half of the 1.5 million firearms supplied to the Iraqi and Afghan security forces after 2002 go missing. Over half are just one where I don't know where it went. Nah, it's probably fine. Don't worry about it. Do you remember like just a few years ago when all those extremely terrible people were running around the whole, like all of North Africa, all of the Middle East, just murdering everybody? The Arab Spring, ISIS. Anyone remember those words? Hmm? I'm sure they filled out, you know, well, we had nothing to do with that. You're you're telling they go they get up there and they preach about they preach about how they're concerned about lives being lost. 
after they do that. Half of a million and a half firearms, totally gone since 2002. What's up with that deal? Now they're going to, you know, and right at the same time, they're talking out of the other side of their mouth. Oh, we need to like pass off metric tons of state-of-the-art killing machines to these guys to help save them. So we need to get rid of weapons or we need to distribute them. Can someone explain this to me? Pick one. How many horses can you guys ride at the same time? Now, you guys know what's going on. They want to disarm the citizens of the United States, and they want to arm the bad guys of the world. That seems to be their, their program that they do, right? It seems to be their program. What are we going to do about it, Rex? Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's like the death of a thousand paper cuts. By the way, by the way, was the Donald Trump, was that guy super, like, on our side when it comes to this stuff? Who established a lot of the precedent that they're now standing on for just like, oh, we're just going to rewrite some of the regulations here. Oh, and bump stocks are stupid. I don't have any of those. And just because you don't have them doesn't mean they're establishing a giant beachhead to tear into it more, right? So are the Republicans going to save us, man? I don't think so. Are the Democrats going to like, here's the deal. Without accountability and pressure at the same time, which we preach about so much, especially in the Patreon trading videos, without both accountability and pressure, you can't expect any kind of results in someone learning from their experience or changing their attitudes. So politicians, everyone has a dirtbag politician in their area that is completely hypocritical and is just like, they got their little pin on, and then, oh, I'm pro these guys. We need to distribute more deadly weapons across the face of the earth. But we need to get deadly weapons off the face of the earth. We need to get deadly weapons off the face of the earth here, and then we need to distribute more here. Are they worried that the American people might have liberty teeth? What's the threat to these guys? Why so threatened by normal people being able to have pea shooters? Like the ghost guns, right? By the way, they redefine a lot of the terms there just to even say there was a problem with ghost guns. You scratch out the serial number, oh, that's a ghost gun now. They're just changing it. There's a lie, there's a damn lie, and then there's statistics, right? Mark Twain said that. So here's what I recommend you guys do if you're into doing stuff, because I'm all about doing as much peaceful stuff as possible. I'm a peaceful, loving guy. Peaceful, loving guy. So here's what I would say. When you normally complain to your politician, here's a pattern that you might notice. Oh, yes. Oh, thank Oh, thank you for bringing that up to me. I, I understand your concern. Okay. Accountability or pressure there? There was a little bit of pressure. Oh man, they had to take an uncomfortable phone call or they had to like send their canned response out to you. Where's the accountability, man? Well, we'll vote them out, Rex. Are you sure about that? Did you sign, did you get some judge in your state to actually, you know, hey, we're gonna keep the paper after you guys are doing your voting and we're gonna count shit. That would be accountability. What, what are you saying, Rex? Oh, yeah, I'm sure the computer's fine. Just, it all, you know, all this paper stuff, just the computer is 100% good. Don't check it, though. What are you, you want to count stuff? You want to double check? You're a, you're a dangerous conspiracy theory guy. Okay, but that would be an example of accountability. Just something as simple as saying, hey, Let's make it illegal for you guys to just throw these into the trash bin immediately within a couple hours after we, we, we count these and put them in the computer. Just in case someone wants to recount it. And if you try to like shred the stuff, it's illegal. And you will be held accountable. You can do that ahead of time. That's what happened in history recently, a few in a few places, when it was the Hildebeest versus the Donald. That kind of uh that's when she canceled her fireworks show. She's like, what? They're going to save the paper? Uh-oh. Oh, cancel the fireworks show. Someone hand me a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Do you enjoy this? If so, subscribe and hit like. I got more for you.
I got a whole new pot of coffee over here, bro. So when you're complaining to your politician, here's what you got to do. You got to get, you got to go, Hey man, I know that you're concerned. Thank you so much. Um, I was just curious because I didn't see it yet. Your public post in, you know, in support of our cause. Like, where's your public post demanding accountability from the ATF that they quit infringing on the Second Amendment? I want to see a public post. When can I expect that? What time? Hard clock time. Not some random time. Eh, just like by 8 o'clock on Tuesday? Is that what you just told me? Oh, good. And then when they don't do it, then you call them back. Or you drive there. You drive there and you show up. And you put on, you button up your top button. See what I did? I even comb my hair for you guys. Oh, excuse me. Like you said, according to my record keeping here, and you have your friends with you, see? Eight o'clock on whatever day, you're supposed to have a post publicly supporting our deal, which says stop stealing our rights. Stop treating us like criminals and treating enemy combatants like saints? How come we get treated like convicted felons, but like the Taliban gets treated like Mother Teresa when you're distributing weapons across the world? Why don't you drop some of that stuff off in our neighborhood? We're responsible citizens. We might actually use it for sporting purposes because we're so peaceful. How come you only drop it off with people that use it on innocent people? Like, it's a guaranteed atrocity when you hand off weapons to people engaged in criminal warfare activity. Guaranteed bad results. How come you're for that, but you're against handing it to people with, like, you know, they barbecue in the yard, they have a good job, and they just want to blow up a cardboard box out in their field with their M47 Dragon that you could have shipped to a war zone to kill a bunch of innocent people, but you didn't because you're a responsible politician. You just shipped it to some normal guy on his ranch in Missouri someplace and he just blew the hell out of some cardboard box. I know this is comical. You know why it's comical? Why it sounds funny? Because it's so ridiculous. It is so hypocritical. That's actually, if you're consistent, and that's literally how it's going down. Am I wrong? Is there anything I said there that's wrong? It's okay to hand this stuff over to these, I mean, look at a history book. Okay to send that over for the last 30 years, right? I mean, longer than that. We've been doing this forever. But then we can't have it? We're so responsible, though. Look at the numbers. Facts, not feelings, guys. Remember that? Facts, not feelings. I don't have my little clipboard where I painted it in giant gold letters for you. Facts, not feelings, right? So... When you give your politician a hard clock time in a kind fashion, oh yeah, what exact time can I expect your public post? Once they put their post out publicly, now they have self-accountability. They have to live up to that to some degree because once it's public, people are going to hold their feet to the fire, even in debates or whatever. That's accountability and pressure. Just an example, right? Demand that they actually speak out in support of what you're saying if they're giving you the Oh, yes, I understand. You ever meet these guys? Real highly polished? Oh, okay, yes, oh, 100%. Meh. And then they just go do whatever they're going to do. No, you got to hold their feet to the fire. It's called accountability. Like we grab their feet, drag them over the fire, and be like, hey, man, are you doing what you said, said you're going to do? Well, we'll just, they know we'll vote them out. No, they don't. <laughs> A lot of these guys are very entrenched, even without all the... Even without all the corruption, they're just so entrenched in a lot of people's areas, right? So how do you, there's different forms of account, accountability there. I'm all about being nice and talking on the phone or well, telling them, hey, here's your opportunity to actually publicly state what you say. And we expect it. And if we don't see it, we're going to be back and we're going to step up the pressure. Yeah. And then, hey, we're going to get some lawyers and look into like, a, you know, how do we how do we save all these paper things after the election? We just want to make sure everyone's on the up and up here. Woo! Oh, what? Wait, what did you actually want? Yeah. By the way, don't be intimidated by these guys. They're not your royalty. They are not your royalty, man. They are your servant. 
They are public servants. They are not authorities. Oh, the authorities said, no. When you call them, you shouldn't be shaken in, in your boots. They need to be shaken in their boots when you call. You are the boss, remember? Remember that civics class that they don't give anymore, apparently? Oh, oh the senator called me. Oh, oh, weird. Like, what's the difference between a senator and the guy you hired to change, change your oil? You are paying them money a lot, by the way, a lot more than you should to go and take care of the legislative side, right? To go take care of the paperwork stuff or whatever, right? Because you're actually busy being productive in your real life. They're the servant. Or are they? Probably better double check. So um, I'm all about like political action and accountability and stuff like that, man. Uh, absolutely. So what you need to do, because we are terrible at procrastinating. Procrastinating all the way till where it never happens. Even the best of us, man. Call them today. Once you get off the video, pull over or whatever. <laughs> Drive in with your video. Once you're done watching this, stop. It only, if I, I guarantee you have enough time to stop and check your Facebook post. There's a two minute window missed. It only takes a couple minutes. Stop what you're doing, contact these clowns and let them have it. Yeah, you can type them some stuff. If you get a canned response, call them. Type them another thing saying, hey, how come you keep sending me a canned response? Do you, re do you realize that you are my public servant and I want a real answer, not this bullshit answer? And then call them. Oh, well, we'll just pass the message on. No, I wanna know a hard clock time again when I can actually talk to this guy for real. Okay, well, I know he's busy now. Give me an exact time because I'm the boss. When can I talk to this guy? Eh. Rex, how come it's so free where you're at? Your state's like all free and like you don't know, know what it's like in my state. And so then do what I said. <laughs> Where they're, where they're held accountable, they're pretty good because they have to be. They can't go way off on a branch and just like, all right, we're going to distribute these illegal weapons to drug dealers across the border and then blame it on you because we want to take your guns away because we want to eat you. Excuse me? What would you just say? Huh? Uh, I don't think so. Accountability and pressure. All right, guys. Hopefully that was entertaining. If you want the real dope, check us out on Patreon. I have a lot more of these conversations and more ridiculous stuff when we got in the garage there. And we have brewski hour sometimes in the garage and we let them, we let them have it. Um, also ring the bell. I don't know what that means. They say that and then there's a subscribe button. I know what that means. Hit that thing. Subscribe and like and all that, okay? Thank you for watching and don't let these guys run you over on the playground, okay? You can let them push you around on the playground because you're just such a nice kid and they just keep pushing and pushing. Now, well, when's this kid gonna stand up for himself? The answer will be in your actions. All right, Rex out.